Okay, so here's a quick tip. Uh, if you got one of these uh, auto darkening helmets, make sure that the settings are right because uh, they don't darken right. It can really mess your vision up and then you won't be able to see what you're doing. So. Okay, uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've been over here to try to move this log, so I can't remember where I'm at in the video. Um, I made some improvements to my log hauler, so we'll see if that does a trick. I got some bigger tires, some more heavy duty tires. It raised it up a little bit so that I got a little more clearance to try to get a bigger log off the ground. Uh, take you in a little bit closer and we'll look at that uh, in just a second, but just uh, to remind you, this log, about 24 inches on this end. At the widest point is about 29 inches on that end. And we're looking at just over six foot in length. So it's not a crazy big log, but it's pretty log for the a pretty big log for the uh, for the equipment that I have. So let's take a look at the hauler. Okay, so here's the hauler. A little bit improved. So I've moved the the winch is right here now. It was right here where these holes are. I moved it up because I plan on putting another winch back here that's facing this way, um, just to give me another uh, pull point instead of having to use ratchet straps like I've been doing. So I've added some bigger tires and some hubs that raise the uh, the spine of my hauler up by about two inches so what I did is I added another piece of two inch tubing under under the original tongue and welded that on and y'all don't make fun of my welds I'm not a I'm not a welder and if you don't know weld weld a lot I guess uh, but it seems to be holding up so far so I dropped this down so that it would keep my spine <clears throat> level so We'll see if this works. This was my uh, first time picking up a big log since I've made these improvements. So apparently I'm just an idiot because once I started picking up the log, which it was picking it up, it bent my bracket down and wouldn't allow me to uh, to twist the handle anymore because it was hitting this arm right here. So I reckon we'll go back and take the winch off of here, put it back in these holes, and we'll try it again. Okay, let's try this again.
Okay, now the scary part. All right, she's off the ground. I've got two straps on there so that, uh, yeah, it's not clear in the ground, but by about three, four inches maybe. But I've got two straps on there to, uh, well, this back one is obviously to lift this, this end of the log up, and that front one is just to take a little pressure off of that cable. I don't want it bouncing around just on the cable. Um, so let's see if I can get it over to the mill without any issues. I'm gonna cross my fingers on that one. Again. That's her, she's here. I'm gonna have to cut this part out because I can't get the dang straps undone. Well, I got it here. Um, I think that I've got some some video earlier uh, in this video that shows my log hauler actually breaking. Uh, I think there's another part um, that shows it just not wanting to pull it all because I couldn't get the log far enough off the ground. Um, there's a lot of frustration in this, but I made the modifications that I need to to the hauler. There's still a lot more that I want to do to it. Um, I want to add a little bit more support on that spine and uh, just to keep it from, from flexing down and give me even more clearance from the ground. Uh, best I can tell just from doing a Google search this log weighs about 2,000 pounds. My four-wheeler weighs about 400, 450, and uh, it pulled it no problem. It's not four-wheel drive. Uh, granted, I didn't have to go up any big hills. I just had to go up some incline, but um, it pulled it great. Uh, I had it all the way off the ground, and uh, I'm just tickled pink that I got it over here. Um, this has been about a about a two-month process, if if not a little longer. So, next step is uh, to get it up on the mill and. Probably, uh, probably gonna leave it live edge, and um, I'll do it about eight quarter or so, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. You know, this is—if uh, I didn't say it before—this is pecan, 
uh, very dense and very heavy. So I'm uh, I'm proud of what I did. I'm definitely not a metal fabricator, but I'm happy with how that turned out. Uh, nothing seems to be you know, showing signs of wear just after that that one pull, and that's uh, that's an improvement from the first time that I tried to pull it. So we'll probably uh, we'll probably mill this one up in the next video. So stick around, and as always, y'all have a good one. More. Well, that was dumb. I moved this this winch up so that I could put another winch back there to come around the the uh, log, but can't move it. Gets in the way of the log. So I guess I'll move that one back to the back.